Welcome back to my Let's Play of Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Been a few days since I recorded last. And... Oh, I guess I've just spent the last couple days, you know, going to work, working... Eight hour shifts. Just finished a 40 hour week. Even though my next week technically, my next five days technically starts tomorrow. I have another eight hour shift, then I have the weekend off, then I have four more eight hour shifts. But, yeah, I got eight hours. Eight hour shifts, that's the important thing. By agreeing to do all sorts of extra things like putting stock away and... Uh, I must have scooped cookie dough ba batter like three different times this week, an hour each, three different days, and yeah, all that stuff in a, into addition to washing dishes and stuff like that, which is what my job is, and. I also I figured out more about what mead is. So, who do you think, my dear? Could mead is wine made from honey, and all the different kind of things made with different kinds of fruits and stuff like that. Fruits, other other kind of things. It'll have to do more research to figure out exactly what, but, sure, yeah, you know I'm good for it. basically mead is a wine that's you know, made from honey. Can you do something about it? So, Glad and that's what I'm gonna be trying for my hundredth episode of the Let's Play Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Yep. Gonna try some mead. I figured out what one I'm gonna get, I think. It's gonna be called Viking Blood, or Viking Blood, like it's spelled on the bottle. If I, if I don't decide I'm gonna get something else, that's what it's gonna be. 19% alcohol. I guess it's fortified, fortified up to that percentage. So, so it's basically, ooh, for some reason this is stealing, but this is not. It's basically a, it's basically a wine made from honey. This particular one I'm going to get is pretty strong, I think. Anyway, enough about that. That includes, concludes the introduction here. I'm just going to take a few more things that I don't need. Okay, where do I want to go? I do not want to go... What do we got here? What's this? Steal anything worth talking about? I've completed the burglary job. Good going. You got arrested. Now how do you think that looks for the guild? Better luck next time. What do you mean? Alright, jeweled goblet so. failed. Your Brynjolf's new protege, eh? I'll try it again. Like I have work if you've me. got the back. Extra I work. The if you don't like that kind of work, talk right. to Delvin. He runs the more up close and personal. I want to try to do this again. Tell me about the burglary. Pretty simple. Break into a house, grab a specific item, and get out before they realize what's going on. The catch is you can't kill anyone who lives there, or you forfeit the payment. You ready for some good old fashioned burglary? No shit. Yeah. I'm in. Whatever. Just get it done. Here's the job. Started. Burglary job. So I gotta try this burglary stuff again. Oh, I forgot to mention. I'm having two tension tamer teas with this video. Just like I think the last video I recorded a couple days ago. 
I'm having two of these with this video. I want to do two videos tonight, so I might have two more Tension Tamer teas later when I do my second video. There's no caffeine in it, so it's not a problem. It's Tension Tamer. Caffeine-free. And I did drink a lot of coffee today, so I need to drink something that's the opposite. Something to tame the tension. Alrighty then. Well, first I need to set the quest marker. Well, it's already set. Never mind. Gotta go to Solitude and steal something. If she says I failed, I'll never do it again. Fast travel to the Blue Palace. That looks to be closer. Alright, what is the objective? Retrieve the golden urn from somebody's house in solitude. Bryling, Bryling's house in solitude. Okay, I can do that. Where's the house? I need to find it. It's not here. I guess it's down here. Um, yeah. Well, I'll wait. 20 at, uh, no, no. Um, 7.40 a.m. In 12 hours, it'll be, yeah. I'll wait 16 hours. Want to wait till nightfall so there's nobody in there that I, uh, can, that is actually awake. You're awake at this time. There's something wrong with you. Well, this actually, that's not that late. But at, back in this time period, people probably went to bed really early because. Is that the moon or a planet? What? galaxy solar system is this place in that's awfully close look at that how close does it have the moon have to be to appear that large think about it this is definitely not earth let me tell you that anyway yeah you can see a big crater right there you think they actually took the time to put details in there. Actually, what is this? I see something here. Looks like an animal. It's like a dog carved into the moon. I don't know. It looks like something. It definitely looks like there's the impression of an animal in the on the moon's surface. I don't know. Maybe. Someday they'll reveal that this, this planet is part of a larger universe and it'll become sci-fi. I've always wondered what will, how will this place Skyrim or Tamriel, Unless you know, we have specific business. I'm look, how will it look like in a modern day? Or will stuff remain the same or will they have smartphones and of course maybe there will still be magic and that would be odd in a modern setting it's interesting maybe go away all right got a quick save here all right I quick saved pick the 
The luck. Oh no. Shit from another level. Gotta pick this without any trouble. Alright. Now I gotta get not get caught. Nice and easy. Take it slowly. Uh oh. No idea where this thing is now. Guess it's up here. Shit, shit, shit. Where is it? I don't think it's on this floor. Here it is. Yeah, right over here. Gotta take it. Can't get to it from here. What the? Oh, shit. Shit. Somebody's gonna see me. Golden urn. Steal it. Got it. Now oh, I gotta get out of here without being seen. But my sneak skill is pretty good. That bodes well. Otherwise, I might want to not try to tempt this. <laughs> All right. I didn't get caught. Don't tell me I got caught because I didn't. Got a fast travel back to the thieves guild. And if she tells me I got caught, I'm done with her. I didn't get caught, so don't tell me I got caught. That's bullshit. Well, we're about to see how this turned out, this burglary job. I'll either be very happy or very mad. Looking for work. Out with it. Steal anything worth talking about? I've completed the burglary job. Didn't muck it up, I hear. Good. Here's your share. That's right. I didn't do that the other time either, you know. Didn't get caught. Damn you. you. I didn't get caught. All we've been through together? Hey, where do you think you're going? We have work to do. Hey, hey, sorry. Even if you're one of us, you better not make trouble. There are rumors about you. That's all they are. Rumors. So quit worrying. Okay then. Looking for wood. All right, now. Time to get back to the main thieves guild quest. Carlia has indicated Bryn Indicated Brynjolf and I are to meet her at an old standing stone just outside the southwest gate of Riften. Her motivations for doing so are mysterious, but I suspect it has something to do with the nightingales. Alright. Time to go. That loading screen wasn't bad, it was actually... It wasn't really a loading screen right there, that was actually pretty good. Okay. Where do I need to go? What is this? Giant's Grove, uh-oh. I don't think you'd want to go over there. Where's the quest marker? Okay. Shadow Stone. I can just fast travel right there. Oh shit. That thing looks mad. It's gonna kill me. Oh no. Oh. I'm, a, I'm about to die? <laughs> I 
that's close enough. Never should have come here. Dude! Shit from another level of shitty. Oh no. This is not good aim for me today. Where did this freak come from? God damn. Trying to use restoration, you damn game. Acknowledge when I'm pressing the button, will you? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. What the shit? The hell was that? Evidently, I need more health. Ugh, what the hell is this thing? I don't like the look of it. Gargoyles. Ugh. Yeah. Ugh. Nasty. Nasty thing. Well. Evidently, that wasn't smart. I wasn't expecting some freak to show up right there. I don't think I should fast travel again. What the hell is this? Why, do, why does the quest marker tell me to go in there? How would going in there get me to the... How do I get out of Ripton? want to get out of Ripton, damn it. That person was no joke. What do I got? I need something. Increases health by 10 points. That's great. Increases health by 30 points. Now my health is better. That should help me with this freak over here. Could help me with the freak. Please, no dragons today. I don't have time for dragon. Please tell me there's no dragon. Shit, from another level, there's a dragon. I'm just gonna try to ignore it. I don't have time for that today. Just need to get across the water. How far? Pretty far. I'll sneak my way there. A quick save right here. Yeah. If I use my sneak skill, maybe that will save me here. Because her magic is pretty powerful. Hopefully I don't come up against any invisible, uh, no, in giant rocks to be in my way. That wouldn't be good. I would be pissed about that. Like all these rocks here. I would not be... Oh no. Wait a minute. So here? I'm glad you're here. What's the significance of this place? This is the headquarters of the Nightingales, cut into the mountainside by the first of our kind. We've come to seek the edge we need to defeat Mercer Frey. What kind of an edge? If you'll follow me, I'll try to explain on the way. What the hell? What the hell is that? Tell me about the Nightingales. Gallus, Mercer Frey and I were once members of what's known as the Nightingale Trinity. 
The Trinity disbanded 25 years ago when Mercer Frey betrayed us by slaying Gallus and dumping his body in the ruins of Snowvale Sanctum. Were they a part of the Thieves' Guild? Indirectly. The Trinity is usually selected from the ranks of the Guild, although its existence is a closely guarded secret. What is their purpose? The Nightingales protect the Temple of Nocturnal, a place known as the Twilight Sepulchre. Who is Nocturnal? She's the mistress of night and darkness, and the patron of every thief in Tamriel. I never met a thief that worshipped anything. Nocturnal isn't one for worship and reverence. There are no priests and no sermons, no services, and no alms. She influences our luck, and in return, demands payment. Sounds like a guild contract. You're closer to understanding than you realize. The only difference is she doesn't demand payment in the traditional sense, and sometimes the cost can be quite high. Whether you know it or not, Nocturnal dictates how well we perform as rogues. I have my skill, not powers or magic. Again, you have to think differently. Haven't you ever noticed how our luck behaves? Like a novice picking an impossible lock, or a blind man suddenly turning to face you as you reach for his pocket? It's through these subtle means that Nocturnal influences us. Sounds like she just likes us to suffer. Nocturnal's whim is the greatest mystery to everyone. There have been volumes written on the subject. Does she exact payment when we die? When we suffer, does she revel in our misery? No one knows. The return certainly seems worth the risk, though. Am I to become a nightingale? It's my hope that you will, yes. This way, please. Wait a minute, there was still something else. He's just hey. ahead. Please, keep following. It wasn't, there was still one more dialogue option there. God damn it. Don't do that to me, game. Okay then, I guess we're going in here. Nightingale Hall. Here we go. Are the loading screens getting shorter? What's going on with that? Get out of my way, you idiot! Strong with you! So this is Nightingale Hall. I heard about this place when I joined the guild, but I never believed it existed. The assumption that the Nightingales were just a myth was seeded within the guild on purpose. It helped divert attention from our true nature. What's wrong, Brynjolf? I can almost hear your brow furrowing. I'm trying to understand why I'm here, lass. I'm no priest, and I'm certainly not religious. Why pick me? This isn't about religion, Brynjolf. It's business. Yeah, it's business, Brynjolf. Nothing about religion here. We're thieves. Just business here. This is Nightingale Hall. You're the first of the uninitiated to set foot inside, in over a century. Now, if you'll both proceed to the armory to don your Nightingale armor, we can begin the oath. If you say so. Before I do that, I'm gonna take some things. Like that. I take these. Because they belong to me now. They mine. is enough to make your head spin, eh? Not really. Anyway, this thing over here... You appear hesitant to don your nightingale armor. Do it's I? It's troubling you. Time's wasting, and Mercer's still out there. Let's get this show on the road. What happened to capturing Mercer alive? From the moment you were struck with my poisoned arrow at Snowvale Sanctum, my path changed its course. Perhaps I couldn't bring Mercer back alive, 
but together, we were able to clear my name and to put Gallus's memory to rest. I'd always intended Mercer's fate to ultimately be decided by the Guild, and it seems they've spoken. Alrighty then, it's death. Proceed down the hall to the gate when you're ready. Wait Time's a minute. Wasted, and Mercer's still out there. Let's get this show on the road. Okay. You appear hesitant Activate to Nightingale armor cells. I think we should trust the lass and take the deal. Alright. Yeah, I gotta equip my armor first. Stop rushing me. Nightingale armor? Where is it? Need to find the ends. There's here somewhere. Nightingale. Increases your stamina by 40 points. Increases frost resistance by 50. Where is muffled and moves silently? Ooh! Nightingale gloves. Blocking, picking is increased. Okay. Not all stuff that completely thrills me, I gotta say. But, it's alright. Having the increased stamina is all, is actually really good because I am not intending to put too... I don't know if I'm intending to put too much in, more into stamina. We'll see. This is enough to make your head spin, eh? Maybe for you. It's... Well, it's... You appear ready for the oath. Yes, I am. Lead the way, I say. You appear okay, ready for the oath. Hey, we've got these get-ups on. Now what? Beyond this gate is the first step in becoming a nightingale. Whoa there, lass. I appreciate the armor, but becoming a nightingale? That was never discussed. To hold any hope of defeating Mercer, we must have Nocturnal at our backs. If she's to accept you as one of her own, an arrangement must be struck. What sort of arrangement? I need to know the terms. The terms are quite simple, Brynjolf. Nocturnal will allow you to become a Nightingale and use your abilities for whatever you wish. And in return, both in life and in death, you must serve as a guardian of the Twilight Sepulchre. Aye, there's always a catch. But at this point, I suppose there isn't much to lose. If it means the end of Mercer Frey, you can count me in. What about you? Are you ready to transact the oath with Nocturnal? No, I'm not ready. I, I've decided I don't want to finish the story. <laughs> of course I'm ready. Good. After I open the gate, please stand on the Western Circle. This is enough to make your head spin, eh? You're like a broken record, aren't you? This is enough to make your head spin, eh? This is enough to make your head spin, Time's eh? Time's wasting, and Mercer's still out there. This is enough to Let's make your head spin, eh? Road. Time's wasting, Mercer's still out there. Time is wasting, Mercer's still out there, yeah! I'm in like a broken record, we'll I... speak when the oath is complete. Here we go. I think we should trust the lass and take the deal. Didn't we just do that? And... You're like a broken record. Where do I go? I should go over here. We jump? No, we don't jump, you idiot. Why do you do that? Why do you be a stupid? Stop being stupid. Why are you being a stupid idiot? Get up I there. I call upon you, Lady Nocturnal. Queen of Merc, and Empress of Shadow. Hear my voice. Ah, Carlia. I was wondering when I'd hear from you again. Lose something, did we? My lady, I've come before you to throw myself upon your mercy and to accept responsibility for my failure. You're already mine, Carlia. Your terms were struck long ago. What could you possibly offer me now? I have two others that wish to transact the oath to serve you both in life and in death. 
You surprise me, Caroline. This offer is definitely weighted in my favor. My appetite for Mercer's demise exceeds my craving for wealth, Your Grace. Revenge. How interesting. Very well. The conditions are acceptable. You may proceed. Lady Nocturnal, we accept your terms. We dedicate ourselves to you as both your Avengers and your Sentinels. We will honor our agreement in this life and the next until your conditions have been met. Very well. I name your initiates Nightingale, and I restore your status to the same, Carlisle. And in the future, I'd suggest you refrain from disappointing me again. Now that you've transacted the oath, it's time to reveal the final piece of the puzzle to you. Mercer's true crime. He's done more? Mercer was able to unlock the guild's vault without two keys because of what he stole from the Twilight Sepulchre. The skeleton key. By doing this, he's compromised our ties to Nocturnal and, in essence, caused our luck to run dry. So, the key unlocks any door? Well, yes. But the key isn't only restricted to physical barriers. All of us possess untapped abilities. The potential to wield great power securely sealed within our minds. Once you realize the key can access these traits, the potential becomes limitless. The three of us should keep it. I'm afraid that's impossible. If the key isn't returned to its lock in the Twilight Sepulchre, things will never be the same for the Guild. As time passed, our luck would diminish to the point of non-existence. And whether you know it or not, our uncanny luck defines our trade. First time I ever set out to return something. Very true. In our line of work, it's quite rare we set out to return a stolen item to its rightful owner. Indeed. <laughs> Indeed. Before we depart, Brynjolf has some business to discuss. I suggest you listen to him. Okay then. Gotta speak listen, to him. Listen, lad. There's one last piece of business we need to settle before we go after Mercer. The leadership of the guild. Why tell me this? Carlia and I had a long discussion before you arrived here. Thanks to your efforts, Mercer's treachery has been exposed. After we deal with him, all that remains is restoring the guild to its full strength. As a result, we both feel that you have the potential of replacing Mercer as leader of the Thieves' Guild. Me? Me? What about you? I've been at this game a long time, my friend. A long time. I've stolen trinkets from nobles and framed priests for murder. I'm good at what I do, maybe even one of the best, but it's all I know. I've never been one to lead, never desired it, never cared for it, don't want it. I don't know what to say. Well, we have a bit of an errand to run before your coronation, so don't get sentimental on me now. Okay then. I accept. Then it's decided. When this is all over and Delvin's contacts assure me that we've regained our footing in Skyrim, we'll handle the details. Until then, we have quite the task ahead. Then let's get to it. I've been poring over the plans you brought us, and I'm convinced the eyes of the Falma are in the Dwarven ruins at Urkenthand. Carlia and I will meet you there. Prepare yourself, lad. This will be a fight to remember. I guess we're Nightingales now. Aye. And some of what Carlia said is starting to make sense. Mercer may have damaged our reputation and raided our coffers, but this goes well beyond even his twisted form of larceny. Old Delvin kept calling it a curse, and we all laughed at him. Looks like the joke's on us. Do you think we... Stand a chance against Mercer? 
If you would have asked me that yesterday, I'd have said no. But now I think our chances have improved. Look, call me crazy if you like, but I trust Kalaya. I don't think she'd lead us down a suicidal path. Besides, I'd rather die with some of Mercer's blood on my blade and spend the rest of my life regretting that I ran the other way. Okay then. Until next we meet, lad. Must be a quick way to leave. No? Okay, I'm. I'll run to the exit. Alrighty then, I'm stuck. Where do I go? This way. No loading screen, non existence. That's good. New quest. Yes. I. I'm on my way to Inkstland. Ink Ingal <laughs> a vast dwarven ruin that <laughs> supposedly <laughs> contains the, l <laughs> <laughs> the legendary eyes of the Falmer. Carlia and Brynjolf are waiting for me within. Together we hope to stop Mercer Frey from stealing the eyes and escaping from Skyrim with the skeleton key from Nocturnal. <laughs> yeah. Now I gotta do the hardest thing to do in this game. Locate a damn quest marker. There you go. That wasn't actually wasn't that bad. Um, fast travel? Yeah gonna fast travel right there so we can get to this next quest as we're approaching the last about 13 minutes of this video we'll see how far I can get into this but before then I have to put up with the image of this ugly little thing staring at me anyway well we're here we'll see how we do with this armor Just gotta get in here. How's my health looking? My health's at 250. Just my magic that's down right now. Whoa! Holy! Ooh -ha -ha. You think you're a match? You're no match for me at all. You die. My arrows are powerful against these general weakling bandits. Bandit thug. You're no match for this. Mercy. Take this. Take it. You took it. Okay. Got those arrows. Who is next? Who next want to mess with me? Who's the next idiot who wants to go up against me? You? That is fine. We can do that. Shit! I missed... I missed that shot. You think you're a match? You're no match. Alright. Oh shit. Someone's about to hit me, aren't they? I can hear it. The sound effect. Ah! Oh no. What the... You are... A joke. You can't hit anything. Not the best you can do. You're both <laughs> joke. <laughs> Burnings? You don't like that. Never. Out your car. You don't like that? <laughs> Shit. Alright. I'm getting too... Need to heal a little bit. Need to heal a bit. But he's still no match for me. No match. Alright, I healed. That way you get arrow to the face. Ah. 
Oh, take it. Take it. All right, he took it. Okay. Who's the next one who wants to try? You? Yeah. It's nothing. They don't keep. They never stop coming. My bow is not fast enough. There you go. You're no match for me at all. We are routed. Fall back. Who's next? Anyway. We're doing pretty good here. Gotta take all my stuff. Arrows. Get a quick restoration level up. There you go. Always good to get that. Maybe the bow build getting too easy, eh? But they all seem that way after a while once you level them up really high. Okay. There's still another enemy around here somewhere. Gotta find them. Well, appears to be a dead end. Try up here. Got a view from the rocks. Okay. I see the path of progression. Or not. Oh no. This could be tricky. I don't know if I can walk on this. Damn it. How do I get in there? Where do I need to get to? Okay. I'll try again. Ooh, potions. They belong to me. Ah, shit. Shit, from another... Open already. There you go. That's very good. But how did I go from here? Maybe this is the way I'm supposed to go. Maybe it's not. I'm just trying to figure what I'm supposed to do here. This place is pretty messed up. It's pretty messed up. Can I even walk on this? I don't know. Keep sliding off. I can't tell. Ugh. Oh. Ugh. God. Can I? Can I? I don't know. Where do I go from here? Through here? I don't know why I was bothering with that. Should have found something else to occupy my mind with. Got a random chair out in the cold. Interesting. Who, who would sit out here? This is a terrible shelter, isn't it? Worst kind of shelter. Doesn't provide any protection. It's just literally just open. It's awful. Okay then, what do we got in here? Another chest with some gold. I'll take it. Beds. Nothing of interest there. Where am I going? I have no idea. I'm confused. I can open the gate. That takes care of that. Alrighty then. I guess I'll just continue up this way until I run into something. I don't know if I'm gonna run into more enemies up here. So, I'd better use my sneaky sneak skill, in case I do, so I can upgrade that. That's always good to do. 
very odd. I don't know where this game is leading me right now. No sign of anybody new. Whoa. Who's this? Bandit. Oh. Huh? How long can I not be Time seen? To end this little game. You think you're good? You're not good at all. My sneak skill worked for a little while. We are routed. Fall back. Oh, he not gonna see me, is he? When I sneak back down, he's not gonna see me. He won't. <clears throat> Just watch this. No. Where are you? Oh no! Oh, that didn't work. Anyway, he was gone anyway. Dead. Ooh, he had a good amount of gold on him. Has value on it. Ugh. All right. Okay. All right. Take all the stuff in the chest. All right. We can continue. Shit. I didn't mean to do that. We're approaching the final minutes of this video. 46 minutes in. Limit in my videos is 50. So, let's see. I made it to the objective, at least. Speak to Carlia. Yes, indeed. Where is she? She's not in here. That's gonna be interesting. Is there enemies in here right now? Maybe there are. Ooh, it's an expert lock. Okay. I have a decent amount of lockpicks. Maybe I can find a way. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, I did it. That wasn't that hard at all. And I got good, good shit here. Yeah. Whoa. A bandit, a sleeping bandit. Wait. Dead? Already? Come on. Whoa, yeah, look at what look at all of that blood. Oh, of course they're dead. What happened in here? It's probably Carlia or something. Don't know why all these enemies in here are already, before I can get here, already dead. So I don't even get combat in here and level up. Kinda, I was robbed of level ups in here. Why are you doing that? Yeah, get up. Alright, no, no, don't do that. Trying to see if there's anything else around here for me. There doesn't appear to be. Where do I go? Dead end. Uh, over this way? I believe so. got we got the machines the robotic machines that kill you in here a lot of those we're gonna end, end up gotten dying by these mechanical things they're gonna kill us
no immediate danger here, right? Not that I can see. Whoa! Whoa! This is not good. Run away! Run away! Woo! Ah! I'm confused. I don't know what to do now. Well, oh no. Oh no. Ah! Shit! 